Hello, my friend, and welcome back. Well, today was a different day for me. Um, I really had no intentions of going out and sourcing, you know, to thrift. And um, I ended up at my grocery store at their clearance rack, as I often do. And um, I noticed that they had a lot of bins of makeup, uh, lipstick, nail polish, all kind of beauty and health items. So I said, okay, well, maybe it's time for me to get back into retail arbitrage because I'm just not having much luck with thrifting at these uh, thrift stores and buying used clothing items. Uh, as you probably know, those of you who are in the reseller sphere, uh, there are a lot of changes coming down. Uh, Mercari has announced changes. eBay has announced changes. And I think all of this is, you know, is pressure uh, for these platforms to sell because the consumer has changed. Uh, the consumer is not buying like they used to. And I'm one of them, so I know. Uh, so there's a lot of saturation, a lot of platforms, a lot of resellers. And um, so the competition has gotten very, very stiff. So I'm going to move to try to move into a different direction. So what I did today was go to, as I mentioned, my grocery store, and I went to Target. I went to the end caps, the clearance uh, section, to see what they had. And I, all, like I say, I do this all the time, but sometimes I come back with nothing because my research tells me there's no value in it. There's no, no point in buying it. So I'm just going to go over this with you very quickly. The first item I'm showing you is a health and wellness item. It's called Nervive. And this was $6.25, and it retails on the grocery store rack for $25. Now, um, so this was $6.25, retail for $6.25. For so as you know, as I know, that online this is going to be discounted at Amazon. And uh, I did go to Amazon to see what the sales rank was. Sales rank is very good, and I'm not gated to sell this product, thank goodness, so I can list this. I only bought one. I think they had two or three. I said, I'll give it a try. See if, um, you know, if someone snaps it up. And if they do, I'll go back and buy some more. Okay, I bought two of these uh, Revlon press powders. Now, you should be on the lookout for Revlon because Revlon went through a bankruptcy recently. And it had a very, very loyal... Um, uh, customer base. Women love Revlon. I don't know why it went out of, you know, why it's filing for bankruptcy because the products are very good and very reasonably priced. So this was $3.50 and two of these $7. I got two and retails for $27. Okay. And this is, I got two of these Ultralight Cleansing Oil by Neutrogena. Uh, this was $3.50 each, $7. And that combined would be $27.98 or $28. All right. Uh, all three of these had very good sales through rankings, as I told you, on Amazon. So that's why I picked them up. The last three items I got... Uh, come from Target. This was $5.99. They, it looks like they're doing a blowout of their uh, cuddle duds. And as you can see, the retail is $19. And I think that's what I'm going to price it at. As close as I possibly can to that $19. So those are three uh, cuddle duds. And that's a very popular brand name. And uh, I've had it before, and it does sell for me. Very rare to find. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. I hope to go out Sunday uh, thrifting, and I'm going to try to still wear, stay away from clothing and more hard goods and health and beauty products. So watch for that video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Good morning, good morning, everybody. And before I get started, I have to um, tell you that I'm under the weather. Uh, again, I have a seasonal cold, 
the mold and the pollen count in Chicago is super high. And it's been this way for about two weeks. So I hope to get through this video, this, this latest haul. Okay, so um, yesterday I decided to take another trip to uh, the village. And if you've seen my past rant about the village, you'll know that I had sworn it off several times. But they have this VIP pro for a dollar based on the colors of the week. And I'm going to link that video uh, down below because they're doing some shady stuff over there. I mean, real shady. You got to be really close to these people and know uh, exactly what they're doing and, and what they want you to do as a buyer. So the first time I went there, and I'll just try to briefly summarize, uh, they had three colors of the week. And there was a sign that said three, four dollar, and this is on Sundays only. So I picked up as many colors, which was I think blue, pink, uh, yellow, as I possibly could. But when I got to the cashier, he said only two of them were eligible for three, four dollar. Okay, wrote a letter to him, threatened to call him out at Consumer Affairs Department. You know, if he didn't change his sign to specifically state what colors were eligible for three, four dollar. So I went there yesterday and uh, he had not changed the sign. It was still this little cryptic, shady statement about three, four dollar, but he didn't specifically state what colors. So um, I did turn over to look at the cashier counter. And I noticed that green and blue were the only two colors eligible for three, four dollar. I said, okay, I'll just go get the green and the blue. Uh, so I went and got green and the blue and I got three, four dollar. And I'm going to show you what I bought. I think I got some really good stuff. Again, I wasn't looking for clothing. I was really looking for non-clothing items and health and well wellness items. But um, they didn't have much. I think I picked up two uh, non-clothing hard goods items, so I'll show you that. All right, so these are the three, four dollars. I'm gonna hold these up against my blinds. All right, so this is uh, Jones, New York. Really nice sweater, turtleneck sweater, and you know I am a sucker for turtleneck sweaters. I mean, I have so many myself. I have turtleneck tops and turtleneck sweaters. I just like the way it, you know, uh, warms your neck, keeps, keeps the air out. And I like the look also. So this is Jones, New York, one of my favorite brands to sell. And it always sells for me. Uh, this is Weatherproof. It's a men's uh, three button, I guess it's a polo t-shirt. All right, it's a nice little color. It's uh, kind of like an orangey orangey yellow all right three four dollar and the next one is uh, lucky brand this is a men's t-shirt and if you can see that print um, I th think this will be really good for a place like Buffalo Exchange uh, which was my intention my reason for buying it but was for Buffalo Exchange. So this is Lucky Brand. And I'm finding that Lucky Brand men's clothing seems to get better sales than women's clothing. All right, I had a choice. Uh, this is a golf shirt by Grand Slam. I ran into quite a few uh, Greg Norman golf shirts, but when I compared them on eBay, the Grand Slam seemed to sell for a higher amount of money and there weren't as many. Uh, when I did a search for Greg Norman on eBay, 20,000 listings came up and maybe half of that for Grand Slam. So that is the golf short shirt. Again, in very, very, very good condition. Uh, and all of these um, are candidates for the BST consignment shops. And actually, I'm finding I'm making a profit by selling these 33 cent items and $1 items to 
the BST, specifically Buffalo Exchange, because Buffalo Exchange has been taking more of my items than Crossroads. I don't know if Crossroads just, you know, they just don't like anything that I send, that I bring to them. They just, you know, nix it. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> so I'm ending up going to Buffalo Exchange much more so than Crossroads. All right, this is Vince Camuto, another little uh, cow collar sweater really soft i think it's polyester acrylic i'm not sure has some stains in it i think i can get those out really very fashionable and i'm going to list these because believe it or not even though we're into april and at least in chicago the weather has yet to get above 50. um i'm still selling winter items I just shipped out a uh, lightweight coat. Uh, in fact, I'm taking it to the post office today. I'm taking out a lightweight coat to the post office. So I'm really surprised some of the jackets and blazers and sweaters are still selling. And remember, even though we are coming up to spring, there are some parts of the United States that are still winter and they stay winterized longer than the rest of the United States. All right, this is T by Talbots. Talbots, again, one of my favorite brands to sell. Very simple, color blocked, love it, love it. Now we get into the full price. I bought one full price uh, t-shirt. This is Academics, and if you're familiar with academics, it's an older street streetwear, uh, hip hop type uh, brand. I think it's still in fashion, in style with the younger folk. I have to do some research, but I thought this was so eye popping, and um, I would, if I can't sell it online. I will take it to our yard sale coming up in June. But this uh, has a $6.50 price on it. I would probably price it anywhere from 25 to 30, see if I get some offers. All right, um, I um, never hesitate to buy women's panties that are name brand panties like Lane Bryant and Woman Within. And these are Land's End. I bought two of these for $1.90. And um, I did do comps. I did look at eBay. And it looks like this is a pretty high-priced panty. I mean, two of them were selling on eBay for $20. When I say high-priced, um, if you're into women's lingerie and underwear, uh, you know that some of that underwear can go for pretty high prices. Uh, I mean, one pair of panties on sale at Lane Bryant Cacique uh, can be $14. So, all right, I also got a couple of hard good items. This is a catchphrase. You may be familiar with this. And I have it on Amazon for $25 now. This will probably sit until the holiday, but I have sold two and three of these in the past. Uh, my price of $25 is right pr pretty much in the middle. I think the high price on Amazon was $39, and the low price was $19. So my $25, and then I'll probably discount it down to uh, $19. Uh, this is Family Feud After Hours. I am not... Uh, able to sell this on Amazon, I gave it. But this was uh, apparently a rare family feud because when I went to Amazon, this was selling like in the fifty to sixty dollar range, and on eBay, it was in the thirty to forty dollar, forty five dollar range. So I'll put this on eBay and Mercari. All right, so that is it for me. And I uh, appreciate everybody stopping by. Please hit the thumbs up button on your way out. And um, uh, I'm really slowing my roll in terms of going to these thrift stores. Oh, before I leave, 
I wanted to tell you how much this cost before I go. The cost was $22.16 and it came to an average of uh, $2.21 cost of goods. So, um, okay, getting back to what I was saying, thank you everybody for stopping by. I'm slow, slowing my roll, being very careful about what I buy, brands I buy, how much I pay for it, and how often I go to the thrift stores. All right, take care and I'll see you on the next one.